Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, the last episode, yeah, we didn't do too much on this planet. Um, and if we have a look at the star map now, the planet's pretty much surrounded by Jade Falcon and Free Rassel Hag Republic. Uh, so we're going to pull a mission off here. we still got one day left. we got some pilots that we can go. So we're going to take a mission for Sea Bills first, and most likely right after that, we'll hit the financial report, bring the catapult forward, and then we're going to hit up this planet, Nick Barn. Um, it is 15 days away, which is, you know, relatively good. There's a couple of Jade Falcon uh, um, units here today. So we're going to just attack this planet. Hopefully we can get some uh, um, Draconis Combine um, cred on the planet, and then we'll jump over here uh, once we've done that and try and defend a little bit if we can. Um, stop Jade Falcon from taking over completely. Um, I don't think there's much of a way we can stop them right now, especially since there, I don't think there's any really big Draconis Combine players playing, so um, we're just going to do our best. So we're going to hop over here. Let's just jump into contracts real quick. So we've got a two and a half skull mission, steal a prototype. Uh, we're going to take this, it's for um, uh, Draconis Combine against the planetary government. It's going to be really easy, but we're going to go this route and accept. And we're going to just uh, switch out our lance here. So we got the Shadowhawk as well. We're going to bring that in. Uh, so we're going to switch out our pilot. So Babiaga is going to come in as the uh, commander. Then we've got Sunflower in, in the Wolverine. We're going to bring Hot Dam in the Flamer. And then we're going to bring Diva in. I ranked her skills up here a little bit just to get her some skill, um, her uh, some uh, experience here in battle. So let's deploy this and get it done. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is a capture base mission. I don't know if they've got turrets. Keep your eyes open and watch your sensors. Or not. Don't think so. Nope. Okay, switch up to LK. So we're going to swap out the loadout, I think, on that mech. On the bushwhacker. I think I want to use those launchers on the uh, catapult as we bring it forward. Alright, we got turrets. Harden LRM, eh? 275. Uh, double PPC turret with 200. Oh Christ, two howitzer, two thousands, really? Eh, okay. We're gonna go here. Let's warlord it. As much damage as we possibly can, firing. Commander. Hmm. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Ooh, yeah. Gonna go this route. Nice. Really? Only got one, huh? Yes, Commander. Copy that, Commander. How much has this thing got left? Fair bit. Can't hit this guy. So, um... Sure. Let's make sure we get this far turret. 45 left. We'll launch everything into it. Alright, that problem solved. Where aren't they going? Okay, this guy's a problem. Firing. Yes, Commander. Which we can solve really quickly. All right. Nice. Warning. 
One less turret. Ready for orders. Okay, Diva, let's hit this guy. And fire. Nice. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. Actually, can you sprint into the capture zone? No, not really, I guess. Okay. Something we could capture. Wanna go with the Ultra 20? Yeah, why not? We're gonna have enemy reinforcements, so let's make sure this turret's gone. Okay, let's get up here as fast as you can. Just running. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Yep, when don't we have enemy reinforcements? So what do we got here? Griffin, Urban Mech, okay. Yeah, Commander. Maybe you can hammer that turd before me. Maybe not. They got superior defense at the moment, so not even going to bother trying. Just going to move all stealthy like. Okay, Spectre. Standing by. Moving out. Okay. Let's let these guys move in, see what happens. Okay, that was a jump. Got somebody else back there too, eh? Okay. Urban Mac, really? Eh. This is where we want to go, right here. Firing. Okay, we got the tag on. Let's get in the trees. Trees make superior ablat of armor. So I've been told. Firing. Spectre next, maybe? No. Griffin? No, can't be the Griffin. Yeah, Spectre. Uh, Commander? Your focus is on these guys. It's cool. It's cool, eh? Sure. Zeroing in. We're zeroing in. We're zeroing in. This guy's trying to flank us. Let's not, not let that happen. 24 plus 30 heat for standing in fire. Even shooting. You gotta be able to see us. What? Ready for order. Uh. It's hammer time. Reporting critical hit. And firing. Enemy 
You should be able to get a direct line of sight on the turd bee. There we go. Let's use it. And fire. Wow, look at the flames already. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Systems holding. Waiting for orders. Oh, you can't cross there, right? All right. Get back into battle on this side. Oh, you got the gas rifle. What does this guy got? R25. I don't know what the R25 is. Rack, maybe? No. Did a lot of sixes. I have no idea what the hell it was, but did a lot of sixes. Alright, really great chances to hit here. Uh, yeah. Say goodbye to your leg, dude. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. The R25 might have a um, Ultra 10 or something. Receiving you. Ah, let's find out. On it. What do you got, buddy? No idea. Well, you're dead. Wow, these things take a lot of punishment. Good to go. Just having too much fun with the damn thing, that's all it is. On my way. Let's finish it off. Uh, we really only got this much LK left? Oh right, because we switched out to more, th to more swarm, that's right, forgot all about that. Let's go up to the torso. Yeah, we don't got much salvage anyway, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The Spectre might be the only mech that has anything we want. I don't even think the Griffin has anything we want. Whew. It's a whole lot of misses. I think it might be re time to retire this flame hawk, though. I gotta pull one mech out of uh, service when I bring the catapult forward. Yeah, it's been a toss-up so far between the flame hawk and the um, um, the griffin, so I don't know yet. Let's take a plink plink headshot in this guy. Marha. Damage is mine, Should be able to pull the other leg off this griffin. Okay. Ms. Flowers, let's get behind this guy. Since he decided he wanted to commit suicide, let's help him out. Well, that's his own damn fault. 
Got no one to blame but himself. Can we get around in front of this guy? We can. There we go. Good enough. We're fast enough. Let's see if we can get this leg. Not really. I think we just shoot this guy. Uh, we want to LKM or we want to... Let's go this route. Firing. Hot damn. All right. <laughs> Let's light this place on fire. I'm surprised he's still standing. You know, gas rifles can be scary because they can take your head off. But I find in most instances they're just so ridiculously inaccurate that it's like they're not really that scary. Of course, now that I said that, it'll probably kill me, but we'll see what happens here. Maybe not. You're standing still. Hey, offensive push, man. Leg, fire. There it is, folks. Let's jump systems and go after Jade Falcon. That's a nice chunk of change. Mission successful. All right, so contract payment increased by 10%, which is probably enough to cover our drop costs. Which is awesome. Wow. Sunflower kill, kicking ass again. Okay, so... Whoa. Seven of eight of the Griffin. There it is, folks. I didn't know we had that many pieces, but damn, we'll take it. There's nothing really else down here that I really want 100%, so... Upper energy would be nice, but not over a Griffin. Alright. Two extra Griffin parts, Urban Mech Tag, and a Range Finder, so... Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, we couldn't get any influence. We knew that. Old Star League model. Let's have a look at it. Ten grand in repairs with three days. Nothing. Let's check out what we got here. I was just thinking on the way back to the ship here. I wonder if we should drop the two Bushwhackers out and go with two Griffins, a Wolverine, and a Shadowhawk, which is kind of like the typical Battletech Lance. That might be a possibility. Let's have a look at this guy. Lost the core. Uh, it's got an XL gyro, light engine already built in. Ooh, that's nice. So it's two laser and four missiles. It's the same as the one that we already have. So let's repair them. 300 core is actually still intact. I thought it looked like it said it was destroyed, but I guess it's not. Okay, we can pull these out. For now. Leave the case in. Um, Magna PPC, huh? Six tons. That's it? Damage 60? Really? That's really good. Um, it's a stock loadout, right? Carried advanced surveillance and stealth. Royal Hinsink kit double. SRM6. Double two dual SRM6s and a PPC. That's it, eh? Interesting. With case, how many we got? What? Six point seven times five tons left. If we leave it like this, we can put in um, structure, endo steel, and something else. So I was thinking about going really, really, really fast lance again. Fast, hard hitting, backstabbing, like heavy lance. Sheath beacon could leave that in, I guess. Let me think about it. I think I, uh, maybe we do it that way. Because rather than the ER PPC, right, 50 heat, 60 damage, we could put in the uh, clan ER large laser, which is 60 damage, 40 heat, and only 4 tons. So we save 2 tons and reduce our heat, 
and then we can maybe trick it out with like massive like heavy SRM sixes like we have on the other one. And then the other one we can switch out the two. We got two ER mediums. Maybe it's three SRM sixes and an ER large. Clan ER large. We run the same on both. Make it fast. It's a possibility. Let's just confirm this. What's our current Griffin loadout? I'll get it in the schedule. Uh, I can't tell. The Shadowhawk. I mean, we could definitely we could leave it as the Flamehawk, but it's being like outdistanced by a lot of things right now. It's better against heavier, slower moving targets. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We can if we can get another engine into it, that would be good. All right, let's leave all of our, well, wait a minute. It's the X1 that's got the missiles, right, in the command console? Yeah, so we're going to put this guy away for now. We'll put this guy away because we got to, um, well, maybe not. Wait, does it have um, an XL engine in it? If it does, then we're not going to put it away. It doesn't, so we don't have to worry about that. So refitting this guy won't be so bad. It's going to be more, though, if we, no, let's leave him out. I'm just thinking it's going to be the cost overall is going to be cheaper to leave them here than to have to refit them. So let's do that. And we'll wait. We'll bring forward in one day the catapult. Okay, so star map. Let's go to... Let's go face the clans over here. They've already fortified it to 103%. Really? Well, we got to do something. We can't affect the uh, can't affect them in the back lines, so we got to get to the front lines to do stuff. Um, okay, so let's bring forward the catapult. Which one do we want now? I think we got three of them. So this guy's got four laser, four missile hard points. That's probably the one we want. The C2, two ballistic, four laser, two missile. Well, it's got one support. This has got two support. Oh, we only have two of them. Okay. So, hmm. We'll see one design. MML launcher supply. Okay. Let's bring this one forward. It's a newer version, I think. Slightly. We only need one tag, so let's bring this version forward and we give it'll give us the option to load out ballistic if we want to load out ballistics on it. So let's ready this. I'm thinking it's just gonna be missile boat though. So let's move forward. Onward. Okay. Real quick here, let's have a look, because I want to show you something. Um, I was asked the question why I didn't put the uh, PPC capacitor into the, the, the cataphract, and I did originally have it in, but now it's an on or off thing. Before it, would just, it was on all the time, and it always did damage, you didn't have to worry about it, it just worked in tandem uh, with the PPCs. Now it's a different thing. So, uh, where are you here? It is here somewhere. Probably passed it and everyone's like, it's right there. I'm just blind. And I cannot see where the PPC capacitor is. Is it way down here? So you can turn it on or off now. Where the hell is it? There it is. Okay, so 20% damage plus 10% heat, right? Plus 9 heat per turn when activated, so instantly get 9 heat, right? Um, and it stays on for 9, right? 10% chance for failure when you activate it, and 15% chance for failure on consecutive turns. So the first turn you use it, you have a 10% chance for it to fail, 
and it will discharge violently for 50 damage when it's destroyed. So if it fails twice, you're screwed. Um, and it's gone. Uh, if you use it more than one turn, um, you have a 25% chance for it to fail. So it is only one ton, I know. But once again, you know, you know me and my not liking unpredictable things and chances of failure. So I would rather not throw it in. Um, the Ultra 5, I think, is a nice balance for the two ERPPCs. These things are hitting 70 already um, with a double with double 45 and an extra 20, 31 here or something. Or, no, 20, 48 if we hit with all three of them. So I think we're probably okay. The other question I was asked, too, is about the uh, autocannon stuff, too, putting like a double uh, load in. The one thing about the double load um, is if it gets hit, all your ammo is gone. So I prefer to put in single loads. Even though we have a little bit less ammo, the single loads give us less chance for losing all of our ammo. So that's my only... That's the only reason why I do it. I'm more cautious, I guess. I hate rolling the dice on a lot of things. Okay, so... Catapult. Let's see if we can get this guy refit here real quick. Um, so... Um, now... Somebody had mentioned, and I believe it was Fists of Dorn, about in my other series using um, Thunderbolt launchers. And I don't have Thunderbolt launchers um, in my Falcon Freeborn. I've sold them all. So, and I'll, I'll be mentioning it in that, that, that series too. But uh, we do have a Thunderbolt 20 here. I don't think I've got any ammo for it. Uh, but we have got a few options. We got uh, MRM 40s here. 12 tons each, we could put a pair of these guys in. Um, so we can have an up to like an 80 launcher on this thing if we want. Uh, we also have the arrow system, which is what I'm more interested in dropping in. Now I have bought a couple of tons of uh, arrow ammo, so I'm interested in trying to run that in this particular mech. So let's first start off with weapons, um, because I want to see what we can jam in this guy and then we'll figure out the engine after that so the arrow system takes up this entire arm so we'll throw that in and let's have a look here what else um, we need to I don't know we're in the mainland so my guess is that we're probably gonna need three tons of ammo um, two for sure Uh, let's start off, well, see 12 turns for me is perfect, right? That's the, the longer engagements. 12 turns is usually about the length we go. 10 turns is kind of nice because if you're doing a base defense, it's 10 turns. But then there's those matches that just kind of go on and you just want to have the ammo to continue to hammer the enemy right to the end, which is why I like to sometimes have a little more than 12 turns, but I don't know. Let's leave it like this for now. We'll see how it does. Um, now, as far as the LRMs go, we could also... Uh, let's max the armor, too, because that's the other thing we, we don't want to forget to do. So we'll max up the armor. Um, since we're going to be probably altering that bushwhacker... We could go with like just all clan LRMs. It's got two tens and a 20. So 20 is five tons. And these are apparently like two and a half each. So I mean, we could go like LRM 10, LRM 10, LRM 20. We're going to need ammo for it. Let's have a look here. Um, we only got 907,000. So we've got to be careful with our spending here. Going to need a double heatsink kit for sure. Um, you know what I find strange is you can put a double heat sink can in when you don't have an engine, but you can't put an NSS system in until you have, you know, your your um, your stealth system in. I kind of find that weird, but whatever. I guess you. I mean, you have to have an engine to launch, but you can't launch the mech if it's got co conflicts. So I don't know. Whatever. Uh, could go with something simple like a Guardian ECM. But I think we need something a little more than that in this guy. 
Warfare suite, maybe it's three tons. Hmm. Definitely going to have to have this. Probably on both sides because it's going to have ammo on both sides. Let's go to the top. Let's grab uh, probably just regular endo. I don't think we're going to need that much more space. And do we go with the stealth system in this thing? Probably, if it's just going to sit back and shoot, we should probably go with the void system. Um, Gyro-wise, what do we have? Oh, the double XL gyro. Let's put that in. And then we got... Let's get to find a good core here. Doesn't have to be fast. 250 is probably plenty. It needs to be repaired. We can do that, though. Um... 250 core is giving us what? 4.6 movement? 5.8. That's still not bad. Still not bad. This arrow system generates how much heat? 30. And these guys are what? 18. So it's 36. Gonna need a lot of heat sinking in this guy then. If we're gonna put another LRM in. Um... So stealth-wise, what's the range of the arrow again? 1750. Okay, well, yeah, that's pretty good range. We don't need to be anywhere close to the battle for that. So if we just use a regular Guardian ECM, so let's just throw it in the side for now. Um, we got the QS. Plus 10% weapon heat generator, eh? Um, okay, what do we want for cockpits? Can't use an Artemis, unfortunately, because the arrow system prohibits it. Indirect, most likely. Plus 4 indirect. Now our... Cockpit. Rangefinder, maybe? I was considering putting a command console in here, but it's just not going to happen. We don't have the weight for it. There's just no way. Um, ah, God, really? How many days is this going to take? 20 days for this so far. 20% missile range, really? Um, okay. Let's just go back for a second. We're taking the bushwhacker out of service. And here's why. I want to pull all the systems off the launchers. Off that guy. All the launchers, everything. So let's have a look at this guy again. Uh, let's refit this guy. Sorry, guys. Got to do it this way. So we know what we know what core we're going to use. We're going to use the 250. Let's get that in. Double heat sink kit for sure. Um, most likely going to need the exchanger, but let's just hang on for a minute here. So the 250 core, and we're going to repair that. Oh, it doesn't take much to repair it. Um, let's drop the exchanger in because we're most likely going to need that. Okay, so weapons. We're thinking about the arrow system and a couple tons of ammo. So where are we here? Two tons of arrow ammo. Um, and our arrow system, which is somewhere here. Okay, looking for instability in that case. What about, what's the range on these guys? 540, so not anywhere near what we want. The SM9, uh, 770. This is gonna do damage plus tag the enemy. So let's grab the SM9. Let's grab an LRM20. Our, our weight is like getting killed right now. Let's go to equipment. Um, gonna put clan endo steel in for now. So I got a feeling we're gonna need the space. Let's put the clan pharaoh. 
if we stand back far enough, we shouldn't have to worry about being hit. Um, we have, how much is it going to be to put a light engine in? Wow, 1.5 million. I wonder if we should just hold off until we can do this properly. Um, double XL gyro for sure. Okay, getting a little better here. We need case. We want this for our for our stealth. This thing's great because um, you get the uh, well in the increased resolve, but the minus fifty percent signature on enemy sensors, and it increases sensor range for the launch. Shares data, big ECM bubble, um, so it's kind of cool. So we definitely want that guy in there. All right, so and it's super light too. It's like one and a half tons or something. Yeah, so we need case two. Both sides. Actually, we have Clan Pharaoh, so let's use Clan Case. That'll save one ton right there. Okay. Um, okay, now down here we wanted to put in the indirect. If we just stay out of the enemy's range, just hide and fire. That's all we're going to do. If we're going to hide and fire, then we definitely don't need a rangefinder to see. You could go with the slick suite. Increase sensor and sight range for the whole lance and plus initiative for a whole lance. So that's pretty good support, I think. I mean, we could go this way, but I think it's better to go the other way. And then maybe the ranged missile range. What's the LRMs firing at? 690. So this will add 20% to the range, right? Yeah, so we should be able to hit it at half decent distance. Okay, so now we need the SM ammo. So let's get the ammo. Um, we need LRMs and the SM ammo. Uh, here's the SM ammo. And then LRMs. Let's get a couple of different loadouts here. So, can't use Artemis. So we got LK. A couple tons of LK. Um, Thunder. We want to more go more swarm though. Hear me out here for a second. Just humor me. We have no sinking though. Even with the exchanger, and we got like no sinking. Um, what are we at here? 82.66 though. That is not that bad. It really is not that bad. Um, two slots left. What if we switch? We have another. We do have another prototype double heatsink kit, and then we go. Put it on this side. That's actually pretty damn good. Oh, we hadn't. Oh, we never ranked our armor up either, though. Oh man. Hang on a second here. Well, let's pull the LRM. Ah, geez, I don't know. Let's max out the armor. Let's make sure we're maxed out. We're still not even maxed out. Um, let's pull an LK out. Almost maxed out. We're going to be over here, but that's fine. I want to max it out first. See what's going to put us at. Actually, we can go with 120 in the legs, probably. Okay, the back doesn't need to be full because we're not going to be, most likely won't be hit from behind, most likely. If we are, we're doing something wrong. Okay, getting close. Yeah, man, without just, without this in here. What's our sinking at right now, though? Really? Oh, right, because we're missing the other LRM-10.
This is too many rounds of ammo though. This is like 16 turns of ammo for the LRMs and it's too much. We could just go with Swarm. Got what, four slots left. How do we balance this now? Four slots left. You know what though, it might be better rather than just going with a 20 to go with a pair of LRM 10s. And my thought behind that is then I can split up, I can put a minefield in one spot and like hit with swarm in another if I if I want to. We can just round this out with patchwork materials in the center torso. I don't know, I guess the only way to figure this out is to run it. We got too much ammo though. I know too much ammo is technically not that big of a problem, but... I mean, if we pull out the LK, we could put another ton of uh, arrow in. We've only got 10 turns of SM fire though. I mean, I guess the other way to do it would be... Where's our uh, Nova system? We never put our uh, stealth in here. Is it down here? Nope. Where are you? Come on, we need to get into battle here. I forgot this guy. So now we're over by half a ton. So if we pull out this patchwork and put in a uh, half ton patchwork. Then we can take 0.25 tons off, like, off the back. Like I said, if we're getting shot at from behind, well, we still got, we're still a ton over, eh? LK ammo it is. Okay, so, once we get some C-bills... We won't be able to fit this engine in because we'll not have the space for it. So we'll have to pull do this and this and this. And that'll save us five tons. Then we can figure things out at that point. Maybe we pull a triple XL and go to the double XL gyro. But for simplicity and the cheapness of it right now, it's really the only way we can do it is to do it this way. Super cheap, 20 days, sure. Log and note. I guess the other way to do it would be to go all LRMs instead of the SM. But I think we need to get the SM in there. It's nice to have that plus one to hit on enemies we're shooting at from range. All right, let's get this going. Let's figure out what we got coming up here. Nikvarn, here we come. I was really hoping we could get this into battle today, but not going to happen. We need sea bills. Definitely need sea bills. We got to get some engines in our mechs. Let's have a look at the store. Probably garbage, but we'll see. Yeah, pretty much. Any good ammo down here? Heat sinks, AC2, cluster, LRM, FTL half loads, machine gun double, hooray! Airburst mortars, nice, rack fives. We've got a bunch of rack five ammo, so we're okay. Well. New equipment available. You never know, right? Rack 10, we don't have any, but we're not even anywhere close to getting a rack 10. 10, that is. Okay, so, but you know what? We may get one and never have any ammo for it, so we might as well pick it up while we're here. What the hell? Okay, command center, contracts, what do we got? What do you got for us, guys? Something good, I hope. Not on this planet, those guys. Oh, okay, some here. Uh, let's have a look at our mech warriors real quick. 
There's only a couple people here that I think might have a chance to level up here. Not you. And... Uh, yes, I'm going to bring you up. A little bit more initiative. Never hurt anybody. Chupacabra's fine. Satori should still be fine. Yeah, we're saving up, I think, for more gunnery, maybe? I want health? Sensor range? 30 plus 30 sensor range. Never hurt anybody. Never hurt anybody. Waiting for orders. I'm here. Ready for orders. Okay. So let's have a look at the contracts. I think we're good for a nice battle here. Four skull battle the general. That's a possibility. It's a four skull. It's going to be a slug battle, though. Do we go for sea bills? And just go in and trash everything? Because two for ten isn't very much. Aggressive negotiations, the same idea as assassinate here. Uh, okay, that's Jade Falcon. Who is it we facing here? Planetary government. Let's go against Jade Falcon then. Attack from random bandits, for instance. Sure, we're kind of bandit-like. This one's definitely full salvage because it's Jade Falcon. We're random bandits. Okay, hot damn. We got to bring in our main la main lance here. Um, come on, Satori, you're in. Okay, so we know where the Black Knight goes. Cataphract, Thunderbolt, Satori. Who do I want you in? The Wolverine. Where are you? Need that AC twenty in here. All right, let's do this. All right. Expecting hostile contacts. We always expect hostile contacts. Okay. We're going to have two lances. One from here, one from here. We're going to hit the upper left here. Uh, and I'm not even going to sprint it on the first move. We're just going to walk it. Confirm. Keep our face turned towards the enemy. Okay, guys. The goal is that everybody here is the defensive line Megasaur is Dick Butkus she's gonna be spitting on the knuckles of the center then she's gonna blitz straight through and kill the quarterback maybe not that was just a thought okay I've heard a vehicle so that's probably a good sign we got company we always have company Lupus, 60 tons. Standing by. Moving to position. What else do we have? Thunderbolt, low armor. Lacerator. Arctic cheetah, 30 tons. Okay. Can you actually, you can't actually hit anybody, can you? Oh God, really? You should just attack with whatever can attack. No joy. You got a lot of joy. We're just a little cold over here. Just warming things up for us. We actually hit anybody from here? We can. Oh, that's just too good to be true. Cannot pass that up. Firing. Reporting critical hit. Now you don't got fire maneuver, but that's fine. I do. Uh. Yeah, baby.
So I got a pair of ER mediums down here. Okay, they can't see us. Either that or he doesn't have the range. And firing. Alright, one hit. Nice. Keep moving up the hill. Be running up that hill. Killing that thunderbolt. Tank destroyer. It's an, probably an SM3. Come on, guys. Show me what you got. Bring your game face. They're sending their scout in. We got a Wolverine for him. Our Wolverine is not like Peeping Tom's. Yes, Commander. A mech like that says like Lacerator. You think it's kind of like a uh, like full of pulse lasers or something? Just move a bit. We want to be able to get behind that hill up there if we have to. Let's just hammer this guy if he just wants to stand there. I know there's somebody over there. They're shooting at me. Going down. Let's see if we can pull the leg off the guy. Another lacerator. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. We have a scout over here that has decided... He wants to stick his nose into our business. Our business. I need you to take care of him. So get up over there. Next turn you can wipe his ass off the board here. How much you got left in this? 64, eh? Can't actually get that. Torsos. Oh, 20 left in this torso. Let's take this one. Firing. Got it. Yeah, critical hit. Well, oh well. I don't think Megasaur is going to be much use here. Oh, it might stand corrected. You know I've got an Ultra 20, right? Y you know that. Ready for orders. Should we just go straight down? I should just head straight for them. It's kind of a stupid move, though. Okay, we can turn these back on now, because apparently I can leave them on when I'm targeting a mech, just not the ground. Alright, we're probably not going to have to worry about, uh, got the TSM on now. Probably not going to have to worry about the AC-20 on that guy. Firing. Whoops. Yep, loving the cataphract loadout, man. For 70 times, that's a pretty big hammer, I gotta say. A pair of ERPPCs in the Ultra 5 and full armor. But we were lucky enough to put that XL engine in. It makes all the difference in the world. Another, another lacerator. These guys full armor? No, they're half armor. Uh, I don't want this SM3 any closer. It can actually move quite quickly, so let's see if we can annihilate this guy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, this little guy is going to go before us. Betcha he runs away. Uh-huh. You knew what was coming. That's why he ran. He's like, damn, I'm going to die. I need to run. See ya. You don't need eyes on. Thank you.
Okay. What's up, boss? Don't think I'm interested in chasing that guy. And let's target the ground right here. Uh, let's leave one off. Confirm. Stay nice and warm. So, yeah, there's been many suggestions on how I can help keep um, uh, the Black Knight nice and warm. So I'm going to go through them all. I haven't actually um, settled on anything just quite yet. Uh, but I will be going through all of them again because there's plenty of things that we can do to keep it hotter than what we're doing now. Uh, so let's go this route and fire. Oh, two misses, damn. Lacerator. Lacerator. Let's see if you can steal the kill here. Yep. Tango down. Okay, one last thing we have to worry about on this side. So I don't know if that's like... That's the Lupus, that's the Lacerator. This is the one from before. There should be, still be two others over there. Standing by. How far can you get, you think? Hey, we get to use the flail. Oh. Ultra fives, two ER mediums. I should think not a bad loadout. Yeah, it's fine. What do we got back here? Arctic wolf. And a joust, okay. Black Knight's actually in combat. Took a hard hit there. Um, how do we want to run this now? Definitely not that way. Let's get you on the Lupus. Probably going to be overheating next turn, but that's fine. We got to cool off the Ultra Five. It's getting into. Uh, so you can switch it to single and, and double fire, which is kind of really cool. And fire. It's getting uh, recoil problems right now, so. Okay, good damage. Still have an Ultra 20 we haven't used yet. I don't know where you can get to, though. There was a place, oh, right here. Or here. Let's get closer. Let's hope for a hit and fire. Ah, well. At least we got the tag on him. So we're missing that command module. I think once we get the XL engine into the... Uh, into the catapult, the X, the uh, command module's got to go in that thing because not being able to see the enemy, Commander. it makes a huge deal. It, it really does. Acknowledged. This guy's standing in the open. Let's show him it's a bad idea. Ooh, that's a couple of groin shots if I ever seen it. That hit something good. Going down. Yeah, like in the Thunderbolt loadout, too. Waiting for orders. Yeah, this guy just wants to hang out down here, so uh, let's move a little bit. And what do you say we just punch this guy straight in the face for 549 damage? I just, I'm just interested to see how much damage this does. 823, right in the noggin. Oh. Yeah, they can't show us this. It's so horrible. Oh! Half file removed. They're gonna be picking up his freaking pieces of the mech off this wall back here. What can I do for you? 
I felt that. I felt that hit right in the nuts. Uh, wow, this guy's like pretty much done here. 98 left. Just firing. Let's get rid of him. Okay, we can see this guy now. Did you see that? Did you see I did. It? I see the pieces rolling down the hill too. Fantastic. What do we got back here? Turkina. I've faced this before and I have no idea what it is. Turkina. So uh, somebody mentioned, I think it was, was it Boyd of Zinj? Somebody mentioned about picking up a full vulture in a, uh, um, a flashpoint. So I think I have to, you have to do some flashpoints because those vultures are really cool looking. All right, firing. I'd love to get a vulture. Going down. Commander. All right. Um, one. Should be able to do that with this, but you never know. Oh, yeah. There we go. One left target. Sure is. I hear ya. There we go. I read you, Commander. AC twenty range. Ooh, ooh, warlord. Ooh. Well, hello there. Going down. And there's more where that came from. Yeah. I almost said he was, took it like a champ and stood up, but nope. I think we took his leg. Standing by. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Run, make sure you run through the fire to get warm. Oh, yeah. And then this flaming black knight. Came out of nowhere and stepped on my vehicle. It was horrible. Oh, yeah. yeah, now you shows up. Now you show up, eh? Huh. Same loadout. We're gonna go up to this leg. Fire. Whoops. A little bit overkill. All right, and we're just gonna step uh, here. Order. Uh, I think you can probably finish this guy up, maybe if we can actually see him. There we go. And firing. All right, now we just got one jerky left. Eliminate the Jade Falcon diplomat. Enemy vehicle. I should just send Megasaur. No, 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 no. Let's move. Oops, I meant to use ah crap. Good to go. Ah, uh -huh. well, we got two turns before he gets to us anyway. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm using vigilance just because I don't know. We have it. That's why. What do you know? We got range on him. Firing. I think that's a hundred tonner. Waiting for orders. I got this nasty feeling that's a hundred tonner. Double time, let's go. Goss and ER should be in range. Yep. Right wow, the Goss, seventy-four percent chance to hit, twenty-four for the laser, and the laser still hit. Okay, uh, we're gonna fire a maneuver. Don't want him shooting back. Firing. Wow, two misses with that. No damage detected. Yeah, no kidding. We need to get up and support the uh, Black Knight here. Stay behind the rocks, though. Oh, sorry, buddy. I don't think Megasaur is going to get into this battle. But I think she needs to go this way. Copy that. Firing. 
Okay. Just getting warmed up for the party. Receiving you. Roger that. Yeah, we're on fire, but we should be all right. Sure, man. Warlord it up. Fire. I think this sucker is 100 tons. I hear ya. No, no, no. You don't. No, you stay right here. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Yes, Commander. I copy. Almost there. Get nice and toasty. Okay, let's get up on a hill if we can see him. Sure can. I don't want to be that close though. Probably. I don't know if you can see us. He hasn't been shooting back, so... Just hammer this guy. Firing. Nice. That's reserve. 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 Come on, buddy. Oh, you. That's a big mistake. That's a big mistake. Christ, he looks like someone from the Iron Giant or something. Two PPCs, two LRM-15s, two LB-5Xs. It is 100 tons. Is it heavy? I can't even read this. 85? Is that 85? I don't know. Was it 65? I have no idea. That was 1,720 armor, though. Ready for orders. All right. Uh... You don't need to move. Just shoot from there. Uh, right through the flames. Wow. Don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated. Okay, guess what's up? Six million dollar Black Knight. Flail on. And we got uh, 823 damage coming up. That's almost as all of his armor. See ya! They're not even gonna show us. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, don't even show us. I don't even want to see what happened to that guy. Yikes. Alright, there it is, folks. Contract payment increased by 35%. We just gave Jade Falcon a massive trouncing there. 350000 in the bank. Uh, we're not worried about experience anymore, but nice distribution of kills. I'd like to see this across the board. A little bit of damage to the Black Knight, but that's about it. Wolverine took a tiny bit, but that was a good run, I think. Three and a half skulls wasn't so bad. So, the Turkina Prime was 95 tons. 95 tons! So, the Lacerator looks like it's a Stormcrow. Interesting... Interesting, interesting, interesting. So what do we have down here? I'm actually really interested to see if there's any cores. Another Ultra 20 clan. Oh, enhanced imaging. I don't see any cores. I think we cored everything, though. Yeah, no cores. Because my bad. Um... This is a really nice, juicy piece of tech. Unfortunately, we don't have any extra ammo for it, though, do we? No, we're out of ultra ammo. Although, we could take a double load. That's only six turns of firing, though. We don't have anything to mount it in just yet. We're going to be fighting the clans a lot longer, too, so I'm not really worried about it right now. So let's take some mech parts, I think. Um... Wait, the 60-tonner was what, the lupus? Let's take this part. I don't know if we're going to be encountering these guys anymore, but let's take it anyway. Um, Lacerator Stormcrow. 55-ton. Stormcrows are like dime a dozen. 
this Thunderbolt part too, which I think we actually have a couple of Thunderbolt parts left over. It's a heavier mech. Let's take that one. Okay, ER medium, ER PPC, nice, heavy, light machine guns, meh. You know, in uh, Falcon Freeborn, we have like, I think 35 light machine gun clans. LRM5 clan, that's actually kind of good. It's one ton. With that with some ch with a half ton of chaff would be nice. Uh, active probe and heat sink. Okay. All right. A lot of things changed hands. Twenty four thousand. Not bad at all. So that was a good engagement. Let's just see. I don't know if we did anything with the planet, but let's have a look. It was a fortified planet. Oh, down to ninety five percent now. Cool. So we're slowing them down. Wow, they're fortifying it to 107%. I don't really know what we can do here. Who's there? Russell Hag, okay. Who do we have here? Uh, well, okay. We're doing our best, so we'll just deal with it. All right. So we're going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also drop any comments in the comment section down, down below. I'm interested in what you think about the catapult. Um, the loadout, I think, is actually not bad for what we have. Um, Clan XL engine would be definitely a must in there. Then we have to re-figure out how we're going to jockey all the space issues. So we'll have to deal with that. Maybe it's a bigger core slightly that we can get a... Uh, one of the heat sinks out of the side torsos or something. I don't know. But uh, drop your comments on the, in the comment section down below about that. All right. All right. So until next time, we'll see you later.